Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how I like to have my reels set up. I prefer left hand retrieve and that's exactly how this Echo Ion came out of the box so I don't have to adjust anything with that. If I did need to it's a pretty quick process with this reel. All you have to do is quickly untighten this. That slides right off and then you can adjust it, pop that off, spin it around and it will uh, quickly be turned to right hand retrieve. So that's a good thing with this reel. Get that tightened back down. What I like to start with is the perfection loop and that is a fairly quick knot. To start the perfection knot I give myself a fair amount of line to work with. Then it's a quick twist and you want to make it go behind the other line. A little pinch with your finger, loop it in front, pinch that again, go down in between. So there's the big loop, the small loop, loop it in between that, grab the small loop through the big loop and pull it tight through that. Once you have that tight, it shouldn't go anywhere. Make sure that it's nice and snug. You don't want to have a whole lot of excess line or knot, so you want to clip that excess line. Make sure that your knot's nice and smooth. That way it doesn't catch on anything, and then you're good to go. After I've cleaned up the knot, it's just a simple push the backing through this, create a large loop, Set that down. I like to start with it so that it's facing the way that I want to reel. Pop the spool off. Loop it over the spool. And pull it so it's snug in the direction that you're going to be reeling. Once you have it in the direction that you want it to be going, you can put your reel back together, make sure to tighten it up, make sure it's going in the direction that you want it to go, and put however much backing you prefer or whatever your reel calls for. I ended up going with the full 200 yards on this. This has a pretty big arbor and as you can see, I still have plenty of space for the fly line. I think if I had just gone with the, the 200 feet, the fly line itself would have built a memory into it from having too, too tight of a wind to it. So that's a full 200 yards of backing on that. And it looks pretty good to me. I can fit a full fingers underneath. So I think I'll have plenty of space for the 100 feet of fly line that I'm gonna be using. I decided to go with a Rio Mainstream Series Trout Freshwater for this reel. It's a full sink and I'm planning on going pretty deep for a certain type of fish. So I'm going to go with this. I'll get it set up. I'm going to do a nail knot from the backing to the fly line. So once I get that set up, I'll, I'll get it shown to you guys and we'll go from there. So you put the fly line between that. I give myself plenty to work with. Put the loop right there. Grab the working end. I like to do seven full loops. Come back up and around. Pull the working end. 
squeeze them together. Pull as you slide it off to kind of keep that tension down. slide it to just about where I want it on the fly line make my final tighten you want to moisten the knot to make sure it has a good slide and then check the security of it make sure it doesn't slide through you don't want to break your line, but you want to make sure that it's not going to slip off if you get a fish. And that's how I connect my fly line to my backing. Now that I've clipped off the excess, I'm going to reel this fly line up, get it on, and once I have it on, I'll show you guys how I go from fly line to leader. Now that I have all the fly line onto the reel, I'm going to show you how to go from fly line to leader. Normally my fly lines come with a welded loop and that's how I prefer them. This one however did not, it just came with a straight tip. I could do a perfection loop to get it to the leader and that's normally what I like to use, but this would kind of mess up the cast in this situation. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of 0x on it that's big enough for what I'm going for for a fish. I'm going to do a nail knot to the 0x and then do a perfection loop at the end of the 0x to go into my leader. I've now completed my nail knot going from my fly line to my leader. What I ended up doing on this section since it's um, my preference to be able to quickly change out leaders, I made a little pigtail section. It's about six inches long, and then I did a perfection loop at the end of that. Just so that, you know, if I am aiming for two separate species in the same day, I can just quickly swap out the leader and go from there to have a quick, quick disconnect. Thank you for watching how I set up my reel. If uh, you could hit the like and subscribe, I'd definitely appreciate that. Thank you again.